you turn on the news or scroll through social media, you can't help but read the headlines and hear the sound bites that we are a nation divided. We've never been so divisive. Maybe it's true. Our political voting certainly reflects that right now. There were many Senate seats and midterm elections all across the nation that were nearly 50-50 splits by mere thousands, if not hundreds, that determined who won. So quite literally, it does seem like you are either on one side of the political spectrum or the absolute opposite. All in all, it does seem like it's hard to find the common ground right now to agree at all on common beliefs and views. And it's even harder to share those opinions for fear of not just being ridiculed, but to potentially being hated by them. It's tough right now. So maybe we are a nation divided. But I'd like to think we still have some core common interests, some shared passions that can bring us together and make us come together as groups of people and enjoy certain things. Fellow Toastmasters, last Friday, we celebrated Jason's birthday. Happy 30th, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> you wear it well. To start the evening, we went out to dinner. And as we were waiting for our food, Jason made a comment that it feels like right now, if you choose a political side, you're almost immediately hated by the opposing group. It was a comment that felt very relevant, very true to how I'm actually feeling sometimes right now. For the second part of the evening, I surprised Jason with tickets to the 21 Pilots concert that night. It's a band he just really happens to like. <clears throat> and as we were standing there, waiting for the band to come on stage, I couldn't help but realize how many people had brought themselves to this shared space, to this shared time, to experience that moment together. 18,422 people, to be exact. Would all of those 18,422 people share the space with the next person next to them if they had known their political views? Would they have shared the space next to them if they knew who they had voted for last Tuesday? I don't know if that's reality. I'd like to think that all 18,422 people would, but I really don't know that. What I do know is that night, 21 Pilots played two cover songs that I absolutely love, both from decades apart. And I've never felt so close and so connected to over 18,000 people than I did when we were all singing in unison to Iris, a song by the Goo Goo Dolls from 1998, and Hey Jude, an obviously very popular song from the Beatles in 1968. And everyone, people from 15 to 50 years old, were standing next to each other singing along. Now, I was shocked that everyone, and I do mean everyone, knew the lyrics to those songs standing next to each other, even though those songs were written 30 years apart, and the one in 1998 was 20 years ago. And so it may seem like a big deal. 
not a big deal that we were all in this place sharing this concert together with absolute strangers. But what was a big deal was that we had all come together for a common interest, a shared passion. We all absolutely loved being in the same place because we loved music. And again, this actually, at the time, didn't seem like a big deal, but in reflection, it kind of got me choked up. Because see, Jason and I don't always agree on political views. And in fact, a lot of the times, it seems like we don't agree at all. And that can be upsetting. It can be frustrating. But what I realize is moments like that is that it's important to focus on the things that we enjoy, the things that bring us together, the experiences that we enjoy. And it's really not about the things that we disagree on. So fellow Toastmasters, when I look at all of the sound bites and the headlines out there that say we are so divided, I understand to a certain extent that's true. But when we look next to the person right there, I want to say that I'm grateful for the 11 birthdays that I've gotten to spend with Jason. I wouldn't want to share those 11 birthdays with anyone else. And it really doesn't matter who he voted for last Tuesday. I didn't even ask. Because what's more important is focusing on the things that make us happy and that we enjoy, like simply going out to dinner and enjoying a live concert. Madam Toastmaster.